Hey everybody, Cargo Bike Life. We're going to do a, a better review than the first one I did on these Surly Big Dummy Bags because I didn't have a tape measure with me, I didn't have a tripod, and I don't feel that I did like a really great review, it was just really quick, so we're, we're going to go over these because I want to show you a few things about, and it's not just the, the Big Dummy, any cargo bike that has some good bags will be worth having. All right. The first thing is, like, you see that long piece of Velcro? And then it's got these strips here on the bag. That's what keeps the bag down so that the wind doesn't blow it up when you're riding. And if it's super windy or it's raining, you got these little elastic straps and they clip on right here. These are, these are also Velcroed on there, but these clip on there and you can cinch them as tight as you want. It's got a quick quick release right there. But if you got like your bags fully loaded, you can extend it way out, but you can help keep them shut with that little clip right there. So that's that's a nice feature. Second nice feature I like about these is the fact that you roll them up when you want to load and unload them. And they thought to put a little Velcro there to hold that flap up so it's not in your way. I mean, you could push it over. But I'm out of my basket. I took it off the front of my bike, moved it to the back of my bike. Because I felt like when I had stuff on the front, it was like kind of unstable. It was like a lot of movement. I, I, don't, I don't like anything to interfere with my steering when I'm on my bike. Now, these Surly bags are kind of unique in that they have these clips. There's three clips that attach the bag. To keep it upright. Now you can see I removed the clips, but the bag is still just a big pouch. Okay. What holds this bag up like that and make it into a big pouch is these little slide locks on this rope on the side. That allows it to expand out. You see how that expanded? And it's one on the front, one on the back. Now they open up, okay? There's your drain holes like I found, pointed out in my other video. Nice grommeted drain holes in case water were to get in there, it would drain out, your things wouldn't just be sitting in a puddle of water. Here's the inside cover. And you can just roll it up, kind of stick it to the bottom of that Velcro got another little pouch right here. And what I keep in my pouch is these extensions. And these extensions are pretty cool because what they allow you to do is if you got something really really big you're gonna put on the big dummy. You can open these up again. These bags open again. Now they're even bigger. And what you do is you clip this extension onto this and then it clips onto here. So what you got is all this versatility because you can stretch this way out. Very easy to adjust. You can extend this all the way. It's even got another extension up here. So now what you have is this huge opening. You could put something in there. And just holding it out right, got my tape measure here. What we got, let's put that flat back down. It's kind of in my way. Close that inner pouch. And now what we got. From the inside of there to the outside of this clip, it's roughly, I'd say, 20 to 22 inches, just depending on what you're carrying. But the other thing about the Surly Big Dummy is this. If you're going to carry something where you have to open the bag, what you want, you see this tube, and this tube right up here, if you can see that, what you want is what they call a wide loader. 
an extra cycle used to make stuff for their free radical that would fit the surly big dummy because it's if i'm correct extra cycle and surly worked on this this frame together so it used to fit a lot of the um accessories they had for their for extra cycles line they a lot of them don't fit now but i made these myself this is black pipe this is half inch um exterior grade plywood i just i just built these myself and all you do is slide those in now what we have is an extension it comes out this is 10 inches from the frame of the bike and you'd have one for the other side and i put these holes in it so you can hook straps tie cordage water gets on there there's some place for it to drain i mean of course it's going to run off with any time you lean the bike or anything but now what we have is a platform and what that platform allows you to do is when you got something real heavy in here it's not going to tear the bottom out of your bag it's not going to put all the stress on all of these points where it's attached to the frame up here because the stitching's good the stitching's good on the bags but anything that's stitched if you put a hell of a lot of pressure on it you're just going to rip that stitching eventually the jarring up and down when you're going down the road the bouncing of it is just going to tear that stitching all the hell over time but now with that on there i mean this is the, this is the area you now have i mean this is the edge of the bag so if we're only measuring that because we're going to use this like a lip then what we got is to the edge of it almost we got 13 inches 13 inches to the edge of that stitching from here to there so that's a substantial amount and let's say you had something that was big that this strap couldn't go over well you can always leave this strap off and just connect you one on the back part you know up to there on the front part up to there but these bags are so versatile and I don't know like I don't, I don't see anyone riding around here where I could like look at their cargo bags and see what they're like. But these Surly bags are, are really unique in in their design. They're, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, you see uh, saddle bags. You, you know, most people know what a normal saddle bag looks like or a pan, pannier, if you want to call it that. But uh, these these just to me are, are very unique. I just really like the way that they designed them. This is another clip, and I just cannot at this moment remember what it's for. I just cannot think of what because I've got I've got four of them also. And right at this moment, I just cannot remember what they were for. I'm sure if I was in need of them, I would be able to remember, but right at this moment, I cannot remember. The other thing I want to show you in this video is I usually carry all my stuff. Let me let me turn the camera around. Usually I carry all my stuff in my surly big dummy bags. The only problem with that is, like when I stop somewhere and I, if I'm alone. If it's me and my girlfriend, like one of us will go in the store or wherever we're at, and the other one will wait outside with the bikes. Because you always think, well, if I leave all my stuff out here, someone's going to get in my bags. Because there's no way to lock up the bags. I mean, they're just bags. Someone might steal all my stuff. So, because I'm going to be alone a lot riding this summer because of her work schedule, what I decided was I would take all of my things that I normally carry in my bags and put them in one of my medium Alice packs. An Alice pack, military, but it's got a, a hell of a lot of room because I actually made a set of saddlebags. I have another video where I made these into some saddlebags with some cutting boards and hooks and stuff like that, but you can watch that video if you want to see how I made them into saddlebags. But they got, they got a lot of room in there, and they have a little extra pouch in them, kind of like the Surly Big Dummy bags. They also have three small pockets on the front that you can put stuff in. I mean, they got all kinds of little straps on them. 
but I thought if I just load all of my stuff in here, I can simply take this bag, place it in my basket with the bungee cords. That way, wherever I stop, I can just lock up my bike, drive my bag, take it inside with me. There's not going to be anything out, th out there for them to steal because I also take my lights and any accessories that are easily removable off of my bicycle and I'll have these little pouches to store them in. Like if I'm going into a grocery store to get some groceries, I can just set this in the top of the cart. You know, much like women always put their purse in the top of the cart. And that way, I don't have to worry about someone out there rifling through my bag, seeing what they can steal because, like I got my, my tool bag in there. You know, I got a lot of nice park bike tools that I carry with me in case myself or I see another cyclist stranded. I, I do what I can to help them. And I don't want them stolen. I don't want to have to replace them. You know, I got my frog tog rain suit. I don't want that stolen. I mean, it's my stuff is not super expensive, you know, but I still don't want it stolen. So the other, the other reason that I want to have it all in this bag is because if I do stop to get something, but I got my, my cargo bags on my cargo bike full of all my crap, then where am I going to put the stuff I bought? I won't be able to. I'll have to be trying to pack it in there with it. This just makes it easier. Now I got two two cargo bags that I can use to haul all kinds of stuff. Because you can get a lot on the back of that bike. But I just I just wanted to do a quicker little review of that with with a, just a couple measurements. Um, the only measurement I think I forgot is we didn't measure the length of it. So let's switch back over here. Yep, we got you. Okay, so there's there's stitching right here where this side panel comes up, and there's stitching right here. So we'll give that a measure. And what we got is 24 and a half inches. So you got at least two feet. And you can have things like, you, these can fold down, so you could have something longer sticking out. The only thing you have to remember when it's sticking out is that you have to put something up here to bring it at an angle so that it doesn't interfere with your pedals because when you're pedaling you can't have something in in line coming hitting your pedal you've got to like if it was a, let's say it was a long piece of PVC pipe or a piece of wood you want to put it in but you want to put some kind of spacer right here whether it's a you know a block of wood a, a roll-up sweatshirt what, whatever a milk jug you know you want to put something there to angle it out away from the pedal and then, and then you'll, you'll be fine. And you have to do that, you know, for each side if you got, you know, like so let's say you had four 10-foot PVC pipes here. You can stick them way out, just angle them away from the pedals on each side. And make sure you tie one of them little red flags to the back so people can't you know, say, well, I didn't see it sticking out. Well, I had the red flag on there, so you're not paying attention. But I just, I just wanted to, you know, give Surly a little more props for... This, this beautiful bicycle they created. I, I love this, this bike. I mean, it's, it's, if you wanted to get rid of your car, this bike would allow you to do that. And they sell this in three versions. They got the Surly Big Dummy. They got the Surly Big Fat Dummy, which has big four-inch wide tires. And they got the Surly Big Easy, which has a, I believe it's a Bosch hub motor, you know, right, right where the crank is. And it, it's an electric bike. Um, I read on one of my Facebook groups that they may not be making the Surly Big Fat Dummy anymore, but there may still be some of them out there you can get if you like fat tire bikes. A lot of guys on the group I'm on on Facebook for that, uh, they love their, their Big Fat Dummies. I just bought the regular Big Dummy because I just don't want to deal with the Big Fat Tires. I believe you throw some knobbies on this beast right here and it'll it'll go anywhere if you got the leg power to move it. But that's that's just a another kind of quick review about these bags but I, I want to also say that there's no one best cargo bike in my opinion all cargo bikes are great all of them because what they allow you to do is leave the car at home get some exercise still run your errands I mean people put children's seats on here they, they take their kids to and from school and I think the more that we can replace the time we spend in a car to time we spend on a bicycle, 
the better off we'll all be. I mean, just the health benefit alone of pedaling and being out in your environment, because in all reality, where that's where we're supposed to be is out in the environment. I mean, all these, you live in a box, you get in your box with wheels, you know, your automobile, you drive to the box where you work, unless you're fortunate enough to work outside. And it's all the time from box to box to box with con controlled environments. You know, in your house, you got your central heat and air. In your car, you got your AC and your heat. When you get to work, they have AC and heat. We're, we're always in these controlled environments, you know, like, like we have to maintain. But out here in, in nature, you get what you get. You could be riding to work in the sun, and when you get out of work, like if you're a commuter, it could be a thunderstorm. And you're just, you're, if you're a true commuter, you're just going to ride through. You're going to put on your rain suit, and you're going to ride. You're going to be like, you know, the hell with it. It's just, it's just rain. It's just water. You know, I mean, unless it's like a, you know, a severe hurricane, maybe you're not going to ride in that. But I just think it would be better for us as humans because we spend entirely too much time inside, in front of screens all the time. It's ridiculous the amount of time we spend doing that. I think we need to be out in our environment more, breathing fresh air, exercising. I think a lot of what's happened since COVID started. Uh, all this depression that people are feeling in this, this, because I know my, for myself, like I feel like sometimes all I do is go to work at home, work at home. But now the weather has finally broke. I've been waiting for this last bit of like winter weather we had to break so that I can start being a full time commuter on my bike. So start, starting Monday, that's what I'm going to be doing. That's why I'm over here getting my, getting my bike cleaned up, getting it ready. Because I haven't been able to ride very much. We had snow just a couple of weeks ago here in Indiana. It just all we woke up and there were, it had snowed overnight. And I was like, "What? What the hell? It's it's like April, you know, or May now. It's it's May, so it's like, what the what the hell? But the weather broke, so I'm going to be able to ride a lot more now. But that's that's all I got for this this little video. Uh, Y'all ride safe. Be careful. Cargo bike life out.